Now then, welcome to another video. It's been a little while since I've done one. Um, I've been slacking on doing the uh, the video logs this week, um, but I've been chipping away at painting things. I just haven't fancied um, sitting making any videos to be honest. But um, it's Sunday now, so I thought I'd do do a weekly update. Uh, talk about some random stuff as well. So this week I have finished off another unit of uh, late Roman heavy cavalry. I'll quickly show you these. Um, I went with a kind of um, a yellow and black, and yellow and dark brown kind of theme for these guys. Um, I put a still picture at the end, you'd be able to see them a little bit better. As always, the lighting isn't brilliant in here. Um, so, uh, get that back in there. There we go. So now I've got my first full division done. So I've got the light cavalry archers, um, heavy cavalry, heavy cavalry. Um, this unit here has got a hero as well for to the strongest. Um, and this empty base will be a general um, to go with those. Moving on to the infantry, I've got um, two units legionaries to do and a hero. And then that division will be done. And then moving across, let's move this camera a little bit. Just here, you see these empty bases here, um, these ones. So we'll have a unit of cataphracts with a hero, and another unit heavy cavalry, and another general. And that's my full army done for to the strongest uh, for to the strongest tournament in September. So if any of you, any of you are going, uh, it'd be great to see you there. I know where uh, Mary Hinge is going. I've spoken to him. Um, uh, I played him last time and he beat me, so revenge is on the cards. Hopefully, hopefully we get a match up again, and uh, I'll get my uh, my revenge. But if not, it'll still be good anyway. So the other thing I've been doing then is working on my Valhallans um, over there. I've managed to get a full squad done, um, and I've got another two squads there to get done to finish off the full platoon. But what I'll do is I'll switch the camera off and uh, we'll have a closer look at those. Uh, and just, I'll show you my son's Dark Angels that he's done as well. So, two seconds. Okay then, so just having a bit of a closer look then. Uh, so that's my first division. So we've got the Light Cavalry Archers, uh, Heavy Cavalry behind with the red and white shields, and then my new new unit I've just done, sat at the back there. Uh, and that new unit at the back will have a general attached to it, I think. Um, yeah, so much of a muchness really. I think that they're looking okay. Um, there's my um, legionaries and light infantry, my archers, and then the other light cavalry up on the other side. You can see a bit clearer there. All the empty bases I still need to fill. I've just put in another order to foot saw. They're getting a lot of money off me, foot saw at the minute, you know, to finish this army off. And I've got till September to do them, so I don't need to rush through them really, but I kind of enjoy painting them, so I'm just going to crack on as I am. Um, behind them there you can see the Valhallans, um, just there, uh, yeah and you can see there the, the difference in the uni in their uh, uniforms that I've done, so I'll just move the camera and we'll have a closer look, yeah so there we are, as you can see they're, um, they're looking a lot better I think than the, the original green ones, I managed to get my um, commissar's done as well, uh, the platoon commander, uh, the commissar for that platoon, and then a full squad. Um, it wasn't quite the quick and easy uh, project I thought it was going to be, to be honest, because once you start doing this kind of thing, you, well I do anyway, you start getting carried away and then try to make them look as good as you can. Um, although I probably won't ever, very rarely use them in a game. Unless I play Grim Dark Future these days, probably. Um, yeah. Kind of classic old figures, aren't they? And they're, they're still nice figures and they're, they're good fun to paint. Anyway, uh, so look at this stuff I've been prepping for, for Chalgrove and to the strongest. Okay, yeah, so big bl blue box. So in here, I've got three of these, and there's this little case that they all sit in. It's like little plastic briefcase things, and really good for putting your rules in and all the little bits and pieces you need to play a game. So in here uh, I've got my army list. I think it was just sticking a picture of my uh, cavalry on the bottom. So there's my full army list for, for Chalgrove. That'll probably change. Um, and then the card decks I need to play are in there. 
and then all the um, the other cards. I don't know what you call them. Uh, fast play sheet. We're on uh, version one point one Delta now. Uh, that's the new one that's not not long come out. The rule book, um, and then I've got a book here with all the armaments that I've printed out um, in there, uh, and then all my um, disorder markers, ammo chips, victory medals. I use uh, I made I made and beer bottle tops as ammo uh, as victory medals. Um, yeah, so everything there just all fits in one box. So I can take that with me, with everything I need in it, uh, and jobs are good. In I think, um, yeah, nice and easy. So I probably just need a couple of uh, really useful boxes to carry my troops. Take this with me, and that's it. And some money for beer, and I should be all right. So yeah, hopefully your uh, projects are going well, um, and you're all staying safe. Spin out what I've been getting up to. Um, yeah. Yeah, take it easy. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.